Alright, so this tutorial is on HDR images. Um, I was asked on the Graphics News Forums to make a tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and start. We have our background layer, which is our original image, which I grabbed off sxc.hu. And um, I'll briefly just go over why I wanted to do this image in particular. There's a lot of detail in the bricks or in any bricks if you see bricks they're very there's a lot of depth to them and this image just it just doesn't do justice to how this image should look or how it could look which is why HDR is so wonderful so and also I could add these look washed out this looks really there's no texture to it just really it looks really flat so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and let's liven up this image the first thing I always do is I like to duplicate this layer by hitting Control J, and I'll go ahead and just name this window. And so I hide the background layer and I just leave the Windows layer open. And the first thing I always do is I'll hold Alt, I'll click on the adjustment icon and go to Levels. I'll click Use Previous Layer, and I went ahead and reset this so what you're gonna do is double click this eyedrop and it says zero 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 you wanna set this to seven 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 and hit OK and then set this to two four five two four five two four five and hit OK so what that did was it basically told the screen that you don't wanna see pure black you wanna see almost black so what that usually means is if I went to the black eyedropper and I hold alt and I went ahead and I was over here and I went to the right the first thing that pops up black is the darkest part of our image so it's at the very top and at the window at the bottom left window you see it start to turn black and it gets really dark so I'll go ahead and set that to zero so what I want to do is I want to click on the black eyedrop tool go to this window and click it this basically levels out the blacks and that's the exact same thing I want to do with the white. I want to hold alt and drag to the left until I start seeing white. And the first thing that pops up is at the very bottom of the windowsill. So I'll go ahead and go back. I'm going to have to zoom in on this just to get the correct part of it. and. Just hold control or caps lock real quick. There we go. Go ahead, OK. Save the new targets. Yes. So that's our beginning image. You see a before and after. It gets rid of the yellowness and it just really cleans up the image and it gets ready for our HDR part of it. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and merge these two layers. And I'm going to go back down here to the adjustments and curves. And I'm going to click that again. And I move this out of the way. Doesn't seem to want to get out of the way enough. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and drag this down. And it's going to darken up the image. And you can darken it as much as you want because we're basically not going to see all of it dark. We just want to get the texture and the bricks to come out. So I like. 170, 100. So there's a before and after. Go ahead and click OK. Holding Alt gives it makes the layer mask by default. So you see the layer mask icon. So I'll go ahead and go over here, brighten up my brush, and I'll make sure this is at the black. And I'll just go ahead and paint the window back in. Because we're going to do that later. We're going to get that all detailed in the very end. So right now, this is just what we want. Um, my set up my pass to do 100, that's why. So there we go. And to make sure you got it all, you go ahead and hit Alt on the layer mask and you notice there's a gray spot. So I'll go ahead and fill that in. Go back to here. And I'm probably got some out of this range. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the white. Going to hit click once, hold shift, and go over. Click once, hold shift and go down, click once, over, once, up, and that goes ahead and it darkens up the edges. So now that that's done, I'll go ahead and merge that. So now it's it's looking pretty good. Um, our original is right here, if you can see in the thumbnail. It, there's definitely been a difference. So 
we'll go ahead and go back into layers and sometimes this works it's just a trial and error but I like to do a gradient and I want it to be black black to transparent and depending on the brightness of the image this is pretty much even but sometimes it gives a really cool eerie dark look so uh, at the top could use a little bit of darkness so you go ahead and click OK set this to soft light and look at that it just darkens up that nice and it's kinda getting dark so we want to go ahead and merge these together and then we'll bring back our original layer and bring it up and go to soft light and that just brings out all the texture of the window and everything else and if that's too much you can always just go back down to here and then bring it back up slowly maybe let's see around 65 65 and then optionally you could always add a photo filter you could add hue saturation you could add saturation maybe don't go too far maybe about I like to stay within the 10 to 15 range even sometimes lower maybe 8 just brightens it, brightens it up just a little bit gets all this red it makes the wood stand out on the on the window so just a little touch to it and then go ahead and make this bigger now what we do is now that we have yeah, our originals right here we'll duplicate that bring it up here hide it hit control shift alt e it'll create a copy of the whole entire layers that are uh, that have the eye selected bring the original back up set it to normal set the opacity to 100 desaturate it oops go to soft light and it just brings out more detail so we're almost done the last thing I would do is I would flatten these completely duplicate this hide this go to filter sharpen unsharp mask and it says 500 you probably don't want that much you probably want like 250 amount 0.5 radius is pretty good you can always do a preview Actually, you might need 500 on this image. It's kind of big. Let's go ahead and lower the threshold to zero just to make this really stand out. Hold on. Here's the texture that it will look like once we hit OK. I'm not sure why it's not showing up right here. It usually does. So probably too much. Let's try 20, 15, and hit OK. There we go. And it just sharpens it just enough to where if you zoom in, you really get to see all the texture that kind of went into it. There might have been too much texture, but I wanted to over-exaggerate this example. And as you can see, what we did from the original This is the original, and this is after. So before, after, before, after. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and maybe I'll do another one in the near future. If you have any questions, you can always email me, or you can just PM me on the forums.